Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. This message is for my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into your energy reading, okay? And then I keep hearing this song. So Aries, you need to listen to your heart, okay? Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart's guidance, okay? Okay, because right now I feel like something could be weighing heavy on your heart right now. Something could be really weighing heavy on your heart. Something could be making you very sad. Something could be making you emotional, a feeling, an emotion, a thought, a memory, a betrayal. So listen to your heart when, when, when God is telling you to release this pain, to let go of it, to purge something out of your system. All right? Some of you guys could be doing a detox or a cleanse for your system, a, a, a system a detox. You could be drinking something that's going to like cleanse you out, detox your system. All right. Or you need to purge something out. You need to purge things out. You need to like go into heavy meditations, do inner child spiritual work. OK, so right now you need to heal your inner child spirit. That's what I was trying to say. Something that happened to you as a child. OK, something that you went through as a child caused you some sort of trauma. Caused you some sort of wound on your heart. OK, and you have carried this all your life with you. It's time to let it go. It's time to heal your inner child spirit. Okay, because your inner child spirit is the part of you that's creative, is the part of you that's uh, inspirational, is a part of you that is always happy and joyful. Okay, it is, it is connected to your intuition, your inner child spirit. Because children are very intuitive too. And you were very intuitive as a child. So something that could have happened to you as a child wounded your inner child spirit and you need to heal your inner child spirit in order for you to heal your heart, in order for you to uh, really be at your highest vibration, okay? Really never allow anybody to trick you, manipulate you, okay? Make you settle for less, treat you uh, as if you weren't valuable, take you for granted, you could have been through these things throughout your life because you need to heal your inner child spirit. You need to be able to set boundaries in your life. So somebody knows that you're not dealing with drama. You're not dealing with their BS. You're not dealing with their drama. You're not entertaining it anymore. This person uh, could have reached out to you out of nowhere. And this person could have reached out to you out of nowhere with some like immature communication. Or somebody's planning to reach out to you with some immature communication right now because they feel some type of way because you won't go back and forth with this person anymore you won't entertain them anymore you won't entertain in their low vibrational energy anymore you won't go to for tat you won't you won't uh you won't let them in okay maybe you block this person maybe you stop dealing with them maybe you won't invite them over no more they don't know where you live whatever the fact may be of the situation but this person knows that you are closed off to them you're closed off to anybody that's bringing chaos, conflict, or drama, or low vibrational toxic energy in your life. You're having a major spiritual awakening, and this is a new spiritual awakening because whoever you are, you had more than one spiritual awakening in your life, but this spiritual awakening is like massive right now. This is like massive. You're like, now you really know that the reason why you had all these different tower moments or spiritual awakenings in your life, why, why certain people were allowed in your energy to do certain things. Okay, it's because it was already written or it was orchestrated. This was being orchestrated and you know that now. So now you can actually sit back and reflect on how to make better decisions, on how to protect yourself, on how to isolate yourself from people and stand your ground with people so that way they don't feel like it's going to be easy for them to just come right back into your energy again. This is not it. Okay, they're starting to figure that out. Um, I have a poem here that I want to read for you guys real quick. Because it could be significant to somebody watching this video. And I wrote this poem when I was going through a tough time myself. So this poem is very close to my heart as well. This poem um, really resonates with me and the things I've been through. And the reason why I'm here today. And the reason why uh, I believe that this was my calling. Okay, so to speak to you guys. So this poem is called My Heart. Okay, so this might resonate with you guys. My heart bleeds red. The thorns run deep. 
piercing my flesh. It hurts so bad, I need to rest. But where do I go? There's no one left. I look up to the heavens and say, Lord, is this a test? The blood is pouring down my dress. I'm getting weaker. I need more strength. You removed my veil. Now I see all the secrets. The family I once knew never wanted me to see this. All along, they knew my purpose and pushed me away so I would never notice. Wow. So God, I bring you my heart because it is wounded. Somehow I knew you already knew this. Wow. God already knew your heart was going to be wounded when you were born. God already knew the trials and tribulations that you guys were going to go through when you were born. God already knew what family you were born into, okay? Let me continue. So God, I bring you my heart because it is wounded. Somehow I know you already knew this. So remove those thorns because only you can. Provide a tower and keep me safe with your almighty power. And once again, I will rise like a beautiful flower. Amen. Okay, so this is... This is this energy right here is it, significant. You guys been through a lot. Okay? And when you had your awakening to find out what was really going on in your lives, the people that were really involved in attacking you guys, the things that went on when you guys were kids, you felt like a bunch of thorns were piercing your chest, piercing your flesh. It hurt so bad. You guys could have suffered. Okay? You guys could have been really suffering. And um and you needed to rest. But you had nowhere to go because all these people shut their doors on you. All these people orchestrated this. So one day you look up to heaven and you start talking to God. And that's when God spoke back to you. And that's when your life changed forever. For whoever you are, there's no going back. There's no looking back. There's no way they can stop you or block you. You're determined. Maybe you're journaling or you're writing things down. Maybe you need to for whoever you are. Okay, let's get into this message. Wow. Wow. That got me a little bit emotional reading that poem, so um, I got the chills as well. That is very significant. This is spiritual, okay? We are spiritual beings. We are of light. We cannot thrive in low vibrational energies with people, so they're being sent to your energy at work, at home, out there in public, in the food stores. These low vibrational people are being sent towards you because they are, they're being controlled by some dark energies. Let me just say that. So it's time for you to isolate and meditate, clear all your energy. You're picking up on somebody's energy. All of a sudden you're sad. All of a sudden you're upset. All of a sudden you're in your feelings. All of a sudden somebody keeps coming into your mind out of nowhere, Aries. This person is trying to really attach themselves to your energy the most. This could be a Pisces. It doesn't have to be yin-yang energy right there with the two fish. You know, Pisces energy on this card. Okay, some of you guys can have Pisces in your chart as well. But yeah, you are balancing out your yin and your yang energy, okay? And you need to do a lot of meditation around this time because there's a lot of people pretending. There's a lot of imposters. There's a lot of, of illusionists, all right, that are trying to break you down in spirit, your mind, your body. They don't want you to be in tune with your ancestors in nature and, and the divine, I'm trying to tell you. You need to believe in something because it's going to take place. If you believe something's going to happen, it will happen, okay? Because you're very magical, whoever you are. Your thoughts have power. Your words have power. You are powerful, okay? So believe in the impossible. Believe that something's going to come in and you will manifest that, okay? That's how you manifest. You could be figuring this out. You could be finding a new way of manifesting and alchemizing things. But it's time for you to take action. It's necessary for you to make a decision, make a phone call, prioritize certain things in your life right now, your goals, and plan something ahead and keep your plans private. It's time for you to take action and you will take action as soon as you hear from somebody, as soon as you get a message or as soon as you get the okay for something. Something could be getting approved for you. Something could be coming in for you. You thought this was going to be impossible, but you actually did it. You achieved something that not a lot of people can achieve. Okay, and this is why there's a lot of eyes on you right now. Mm. I got my eyes on you. Damn, is that Drake? I got my eyes on you. Mm -mm -mm. Have faith in your dreams. All right, because there is a lot of eyes on you. That's when I heard that song. But you got to have faith in your dreams. I heard James or Jamie. Juanita. Wa uh, Wanda. Glenda, Glenn, Patricia, Trisha, Alex, Alexander, Veronica, Valerie, a win-win outcome is forecasted. 
The scales are balancing out in your life. I heard Kayla. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, cancer energy. Balance your life out with a lot of meditations right now. This came out twice right now. And, th and there's an energy that's gaining momentum coming towards you because uh, you release negativity. So now you're causing a major shift in your reality. You're causing a major shift for a Scorpio, for a Pisces, or a Cancer. They're going through a major shift because of you, Aries. So you guys are dealing with a heavy water sign. Let's see what's going on with this water sign you guys could be going with. Aries, Leo, or Sag, energy. All right? I feel like you could be... You could be a grand fire trine where you have more than one fire sign in your chart. You could have Sagittarius in your chart or Leo. Or you're dealing with a Sag or Leo, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, heavy water energy. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, a home, a house is not a home. And then I heard there's a stranger in my house. And I heard stranger danger. Okay, I don't know who says that, stranger danger. But uh, yeah, somebody could be like approaching somebody's child. And this person is a stranger, so be careful where your kids are going. Be careful that they're not left alone too long outside. Pay attention to your children. If they're young, when they're outside, I don't know why I heard stranger danger. But then I heard there's a stranger in my house. And that song is by Tamia. So somebody's name could be Tamia, Tamara, Maya, Tamaya, Toby. But... There's a stranger in my house. It's basically about somebody that's in a relationship, wearing a mask, wearing a facade, pretending, um, really having an outside life with somewhere else, with someone else doing the most. And this house is not a home because this person is hiding a lot of secrets. This person is not the same person that you once met. Or if this is not you, this could be somebody that you dealt with in love. They ended up partnering up with somebody that's not who they said they was. And there's a stranger in their house now because somebody's shape-shifting now. Somebody's acting crazy, violent, or I don't know. They're doing the most. They're not themselves. Somebody's not themselves now. Mm. Becoming the queen of swords. Standing in your power. Speaking your truth. Standing your ground here. King of Queen of Swords. You could be a male or female, but you're in this Queen of Swords energy. And now somebody's under stress because they're under judgment. Because they were a stranger in your house. All right? And if they were not in your house, then they were they were trying to affect your second house in your chart. Something about your second house. They were trying to affect your chart, your, your, your destinies. If they were a stranger. So they try to astral project into your energy and your ancestors caught them in your dreams. They could have astral projected into your home. They were a stranger in your house. Your ancestors caught them. Something significant about the stranger in the house. If this is not a relationship that you're in and you're single, then somebody was trying to astral project into your home and they got caught. Now they're in the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm, Page of Cups in the reverse here. Yeah. This person doesn't have anything to offer you. So they're coming in with this false hope, false offers, but you're not accepting it. This person's blocked. Now they're uh, upset. They want revenge because you won't, uh, you won't, you won't let them in. All right. You didn't give them what they wanted. Somebody didn't get their way with you. All right. And also they didn't, they didn't finish the job either. They didn't get the job done. So now they're under turmoil, judgment, and this person's been casted out of a group. A bunch of people that were working together, or whoever sent this person, they got casted out. Um, they don't want nothing to do with them. Somebody can't access their money anymore. Something happened to somebody where they got blocked off to their finances. They're losing a lot, and now they're rushing towards you with this revengeful energy. Block this person. Low vibrational. Mm. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. You could be dealing with one. But you have the Three of Cups. You have a reason to celebrate, and then somebody's pissed because you're celebrating because something went in your favor, and they're pissed. So now they want to seek revenge. But you're getting the memo. You're getting the message. You're getting the clarity that something goes in your favor. Okay? Somebody's reaching out. And now you're moving forward in your chariot. Okay? Somebody could be getting a new car. Somebody could be going on a road trip. Somebody could be moving at a distance. Or something is somebody's coming towards you with an offer. Mm. The Queen of Cups is under judgment. This could be a mother figure. This could be a karmic female in your life somehow that you know. But this Queen of Cups is under judgment because they try to manipulate this person, all right? They try to manipulate this person, and they try to, like, put this person against you, lie to them about you, put them on a dark path when it comes to you, and now they're both under judgment, and now this person is upset because they found out that this Queen of Cups put them up 
put them up on a dummy mission when it comes to you. Mm, maybe they hired this person to do spiritual work on you and it backfired. Maybe they put this person up to no good by manipulating them to go against you. And now this person's under judgment getting bad karma because you are divine and you're protected. And this person knows that this individual karmic right here could be a mother figure, could be a female at work. This could be anybody in your life. They literally put this person on a dark path. Okay, and they got bad karma too for that. All right, somebody could be sick or ill with this toxic devil energy. Somebody got a spiritual demon attached, so they got an SED. But you got the Ace of Cups here going in your favor. And the Scorpionic energy here, there's a Scorpio heavy in your energy. All right, and they manifested against you, and now they're under judgment for that. All right, they can't figure it out here. All right, so now the Scorpio wants to try to come and make it up to you, or the Scorpio is having an out-of-body experience. Now, this could be another Aries that you're dealing with with the Emperor. This could be you. All right, doing a lot of meditation, grounding yourself, eating healthy. All right, and be careful who you're watching and who you're listening to, my loves. Be careful who you're following because not everybody's gonna, not everybody's on a righteous path. Not everybody's on their in alignment. Not everybody did all the spiritual work. All right, they just consider themselves high ranking, but they didn't do the. This is somebody that considered themselves high ranking or something like that, or spiritually protected or spiritually gifted, but they really didn't do the work. Okay, this person just put themselves in that position and said, this is who I am. The divine didn't choose this person to do what they're doing. All right, this person was working with dark entities and spirit guides. All right, or somebody was. And um, everybody's starting to see the truth about this person or this person just like looking crazy right now. Your love got me looking crazy right now. Crazy right now. Crazy right now. It's us got me looking crazy right now. So just be careful who you're dealing with. Because as soon as you get involved with somebody and you start dealing with them or you slept with them or you let them in your energy, you start feeling crazy or you start having mental fog or you start forgetting things and, and, and just, just like things are not making sense ever since this person came into your energy. Or this is the type of person that infiltrates people's energies and then starts confusing them. I don't know. But be mindful with this person and you might be finding out they're experiencing a major tower ending. Hmm. Okay. You could be seeing rainbows. You could be seeing owls, a lot of owls, a lot of rainbows, a lot of crows around this time. Those are like spiritual omens and messages from the divine. All right. Search up the spiritual meanings of those things on your phone and you can see what it says. All right. Because things are happening here. You are having a major transformation. Beautiful butterfly energy. Okay. Beautiful energy. I heard Lauren, Laura, or Karen. Heavy spying, private eye. Yeah. Yeah. They've been doing the most, but you're over here evolving, looking good, doing the right things, making le legit money, okay? Feeling good about yourself. This is the path you're on. And they can't stop watching you. They can't stop watching you. But there's a private eye that's watching these people or watching somebody because they've been targeting you. All right, but they're so obsessed with you. They say they're, they feel like they're so obsessed with you that they actually, they love you and they hate you all at the same time. Somebody loves you and they hate you all at the same time. That's that's just so toxic. They're obsessed with you, all right? Just, just know that. I mean, you're highly protected. You're having a soul union with your soulmate, past life soulmate, somebody here. You're connecting with a past life soulmate, all right? And this is being sent by the divine. All right, somebody's waking up to the fact that this child is not their child, or somebody's waking up to the fact that their dad is not their dad. This is why somebody's having a major out-of-body experience, you or someone else. Somebody's been tampering with somebody's car here. This dark empath male, like I said, is obsessed with somebody because they don't want nothing to do with this person because they got exposed and now they're losing everything. All right, moving away and starting over for a peace of mind. That's what you guys are going to be doing. Somebody's going to want to strike a deal with you, make a deal, deal or no deal. Let's make a deal here. All right. Trying to make a deal with you. Be careful what deals you're making with somebody and what you're signing. That's specific here on any contracts or anything like that. Any business agreements or partnerships. Make sure you're reading the fine print and make sure you get a lawyer to look over the paperwork because somebody watching this video, you're going to get a major opportunity or a contract or you're selling up a property or you're you're coming you're like together in business partnership with someone else, whatever you're doing here. Make sure you read the fine print and you, you get a lawyer to look over it. That's a side message for somebody, but this involves estate or property or inheritance, successful business. You could be creating a multi-million dollar business. And they have access denied. They, you denied access to somebody. That's why they're stalking you. Okay? But somebody here, you're getting an offer. World renowned. Becoming famous suddenly. Wow. And that's why your family was doing the most. Trying to take you out for money here. But you are a powerful spiritual healer. 777. So whoever you are, this is your season. This is your time to shine. 
All right? Don't let these people weigh you down with their energy projections, mirror magic. Like, clear your energy out every day. Do your spiritual cleansings every day. All right? Master yourselves every day. This is your reading. I hope this helped. If you guys are interested in Crown Chakra Protection Spray or Be Gone, it is available. Just email me, guys, okay? For your spiritual protection purposes. Thank you for your love and support. Till the next time, namaste.